everyone, it's Julia, and I am back with a, an easy purse um, project for you. I call this my quick trip. Perfect for your phone and maybe a credit card and just a quick trip around um, town. My template measures seven inches wide by 21 inches long, and then it has that curved top on one side. I cut my lining and my outer fabric and my fusible foam a little bit bigger than my template piece, about an inch or a half inch on each side. I'm gonna be using my twisted cord for some decoration. You can either use magnetic snap or a large snap for this. My cord holder, my, and then I'm gonna be putting a little um, pocket on the back of this too, and you'll see that. I have my piece of foam here. Now this is a fusible foam and it's fusible on one side. And I'm just going to be ironing that, um, that the front of my bag onto that foam. Now it's to my sewing machine and I am going to channel quilt this. I have my walking foot on and then I have that little quilter gauge too so I can get my, get my stitching somewhat straight. And that little gauge will go right on that top of that first stitch line so that they will be evenly spaced. And I have all my little stitching done and now I'm just gonna add my template to the top here. And I have my, my lining on the back side as well. So I'm going to be cutting all three of these layers out at once, or all, both of my layers out at once. This is just an easy way to get everything cut nice and even. And now I've got these two strange looking pieces here, but this is kind of the, it's gonna flap down like this. Um, got the little pocket here as well. The pocket measures seven inches across by about 14 inches long. And I've just drawn out a little rectangle on this pocket. And this is on the back side of the pocket. That rectangle is about five and a half inches by about three eighths of an inches wide. I'm just gonna pin this onto the back of my bag. And then I'm gonna stitch that little rectangle with a tiny stitch. You can see it's all stitched there and you can see the stitching all the way through. And then it's on to just gonna measure by drawing a couple little triangles on both ends and then connecting that right in the middle with a with a just a broken stitch this is my cutting line i just want to make sure that i get it somewhat in the middle when i'm cutting now cutting through all my layers and trying to be very careful when i get to the corners i'm going to be cutting when i get to that little triangle right into the corner, being careful not to cut any stitches in that corner. And then pushing all this lining through my opening. Now with this foam, it got a little tricky. I just had to take my time and just roll those seams out. And then we'll be pressing these, everything flat. And you can see it just it takes a little bit of work, but then everything will be pretty well um, all to the back side. And then you can see my opening there. Time to add my zipper. I first of all go ahead and I just take it to my sewing machine and zigzag across the this, the one, the, the open end of that zipper. And then I'm adding my tape. This is a double-sided tape. It's a quarter of an inch. It's the easiest way to add a zipper like this. It just keeps everything in place while you're at your sewing machine. Just attaching that, that tape and then just gonna be taking the back side off that tape. So now it's sticky on both sides. I'm just laying that zipper underneath my opening. 
pressing everything down so that it sticks to that tape. I'll have all my supplies listed down below for you in case you're interested in this. And then I just stitched that um, opening and stitched that zipper right into place. This is a piece that measures about three inches by five inches and I'm just folding it, meeting up the edges and folding it again and then we'll be stitching this on both sides. This is gonna hold my cord. And I cut that in two and we'll be attaching this about two inches or inch and a half down from the top. Just gonna put a clip there Again, folding it so the raw, raw edges are meeting about an inch and a half down and adding my clip. Those will be stitched, but before I do that, I'm gonna add my, my snap, my, mag, my mag, magnetic snap. Just somewhat trying to get my middle here. and then marking it with a pen. Taking my seam ripper and just poking a holes where I, where I marked. Sticking that one end through there. Putting on the washer and then just using a, a pliers here to bend those little prongs back. And that's what it looks like. Now it's on to attaching those little um, holders there. I've got this long, crazy looking piece, um, but I'm gonna add my lining now. But my, my, so my right sides are together. I'm just gonna pin these two together. And I do have, you can see maybe marked there at an opening about, oh, probably about seven inches or so, my opening, that I'm going to be leaving this so I can turn if um, right sides out. I take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to be stitching all the way around here, leaving that opening open. And this also will um, include that, that pocket, so all the pocket will be stitched down. Just clipping my corners now once it's sewn. and then turning this so the right sides are out. Rolling those seams, and then I'll be taking this to my sewing machine and I will be top stitching or edge, sti edge stitching this. And then you can see those little those little holders there that my my cord will be going through. I'm going to leave a video down below for you on how I do my my twisted fabric cord. I don't show it in this video, but I'll make sure to link that. Um, it's a very easy way to just uh, use up scraps to make a fabric cord. And ironing that opening shut and that'll all be um, stitched when I do my top stitching. I got my top stitching done. Almost looks like something now. It's getting getting complete. I'm going to take my to my to my sewing machine and stitch those side seams making sure to go back and forth a couple times on the top because that's going to be a stretch, a stress um, seam there. Making my little marks to get my other half of my um, magnetic snap. Now, if you don't have magnetic snaps, I think a, a large snap would work or even a really fun button would work well for this.
and using my pliers once again to get those little prongs um, flat, flat. And then I'm going to add a yo-yo just to cover up that um, that snap on the on the outside. Um, I do, I will make a mention of this, that I do switch this yo-yo out to a, a plain blue one. I just thought it just, it just looked a little bit better. But meanwhile, I'm going to go and work on my little cord here. This is going to be a little bit of a, a embellishment on this, this top flap. Just kind of figuring out which color I like, colors I like best. And I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and just to make this cord a little bit more durable and I'm just going to zigzag all the way down this cord. going to add a little bit of this to the um, just to the flap and I'm just zigzagging this on so the zig goes in the the bag and the zag goes on the cord and this is just going to be an edging just really love the way this looks it just really gave it more of a just like a scrappy look that I love and here you can see me switching that yo-yo out And now to add that cord, this is the slickest way to just to stick that cord right through those little those little loops. Um, and then I'm going to just tie a large knot so it doesn't slip out. It really adds for a just a fun, funky. Um, cord or, or handle for your little purse and it'll be cross cross body and very easy to adjust just by tying the knot further down I wanted just to add another little thing and this is like a stamped word or phrase it says learn to pause or nothing worthwhile will catch up to you so I'm going to hand stitch that on and you're going to see it at the end here Thank you everybody who's joined me today. I hope you enjoyed this. It's just a really quick little bag, really easy for gifts. Um, hope you have a chance to create. Bye for now.